Hi there guys, this is Miss Nelson again, and we are now starting chapter four in our Go Math. Um, chapter four is all about multiplication. It's actually a little bit easier than chapter three, so hopefully we won't have as many problems with it. Chapter um, four, lesson one, is multiply by 10, 100, and 1,000. And most of you got this pretty easily. All you, know, all you have to do is if you multiply by 10, you add one zero to the factor that you're multiplying by 10. If you multiply by 100, you add two zeros. And if you multiply by 1,000, you add three zeros. Pretty easy there. But let's just go through this lesson real quick and see how we do with this. Let's see. Okay, so use the drawing to find two times 500. So they've made a model here for us already. They've got two rows, one, two, and 500. So they took the two zeros off and they just made five rows. One, two, or five columns, excuse me. One, two, three, four, five. So we have to count these all up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we get the answer of, sorry, I'm trying to pick my pen color here, 10. And then we have to add those two zeros back on. So my answer should be 1,000. 2 times 500 is 1,000. OK, number 2 and number 3 is asking you to draw a picture or a number line, which are two strategies that we learned to help us find the product. We know the product just means the answer to a multiplication problem. So we have 3 times 40. So if we were to draw a picture, we would do a square or a rectangle with three rows because that's our first number. And we're going to ignore the zero for a second and do four columns. So one, two, three, four columns. So then if we count all these boxes up, it'd be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And then we have to remember to add on our zero. So our answer should be 120. 3 times 40 is 120. Okay, a picture for 4 times 600. We have to do 4 rows and 6 columns. So 1, 2... Three, four, and six columns would look like this. Okay, so now we have to count all these up. Instead of doing that, I know that when I have an array like this, I can just multiply how many rows by how many columns. So I'm just going to, in my head, I know my four times tables. So I'm going to do four times six is 24 and I'm going to add on my two zeros. Now if I were to count these boxes there would be 24 of them and then we can't forget we have to add on those two zeros. So 4 times 600 is 2,400. Okay, use mental math to complete the pattern. So they started off by giving us the answer to 3 times 8 is 24. So here's what I'm talking about when we multiply by 10 this is, there's a number in the tens place. We have one zero. So all we have to do is take our answer from up here because we have three times eight and add a zero on it. So 240. Now if we're multiplying by hundreds, we have to add two zeros on it. So it would be the original 24 from up here and add two zeros. So it will be 2,400. And then when we multiply by 1,000 or thousands, we add on three zeros. So we would take our 24 from up here and add on three zeros. Pretty easy. We don't even really have to think about that because they already gave us the answer to three times eight up here. Okay, now they've done six times two equals 12. And we have to do six times 20. So we're just going to take that 12 and we're going to add on a zero. 120. Here, we're multiplying by hundreds, so we add on two zeros. Take our 12, 
add on two zeros, 1,200. And here we're multiplying by 1,000, so we're going to add three zeros. So take our 12, add three zeros, that's 12,000. Okay, now here they haven't given us an answer, but we know our fours and our fives times tables, so we know that four times five is 20. So when we multiply by tens, we have to add a zero onto that 20. So it will become 200. Here we add two zeros onto the 20. So it will become 2,000. And here we add three zeros on. So it will become 20,000. Pretty easy. Okay. Now down here for numbers 7, 8, and 9, we're doing the same thing except for uh, here it's about, it's exactly the same as up here. Here they're leaving out parts that we have to figure out what they are. So I'm going to skip this one because we've already done it three times above. You know how to do that fairly easily. So now let's fill this in. 6 times 7 equals 42. Now here they've taken that original 42 and they've added only one zero. So we know that we add one zero to our, our seven that was here. So it will become 70. Now here they've left off the answer or the product. So we take our 42 from up here and we look at what we're multiplying by. We see it has two zeros, so we have to add two zeros, 4,200. Okay, now they've switched back to taking out one of the factors. We have to figure out what the factor is. If we look at our product, we see three zeros are added on to the original 42. So we have to add three zeros on to our original factor, which was a seven. So seven and three zeros equals 7,000. So if we look down the line, we have six times seven, six times 70, six times 700, six times 7,000. Pretty easy. I'm going to skip number nine because I don't think you guys are having very many problems with this. It's pretty straightforward. All right, I hope this helped with lesson. This is, goes with lesson 4.1 in Go Math. And just to sum it up, we were going over patterns and how to multiply by tens, by one hundredths, and by one thousandths. All right, thanks.